mean, you can see up through there. They have tore this place up. Right in here is where they was hanging out every afternoon. Yep. That'd been open pasture, that'd been rough. Yeah, one of them. I think David had been out there in that old field. Oh, smells piggy up here. In this state, Pine timber is a large agricultural benefit we have, and these hogs are destroying this place. Uh, they'll rub on the trees, break down the root system on the trees. They rub on the trees so much that they'll get diseases and stuff from knocking the bark off of them. Um, it's just another agricultural disaster with these pigs. and. They love these plant plantations. They got plenty of cover and plenty of food there. But these pigs were coming in every evening and every morning. We just had to wait till the right ones got in the trap. They'd all run in, eat for a minute, leave one or two on the outside. Something would happen, they'd all run out. And they'd come back in, back and forth, all the time. You know, never, we wanted all the mature ones. That was the goal. And it just took a little time for them all to get, I mean, it's like a week-long process. So twice a day for hours, we're watching these things. Uh, cause we like to catch every one of them. And we just had to wait a lot of patience. Finally, Monday morning, about 4.30 in the morning, we went off, woke well, both of us up, we get to watching it, and I couldn't hardly see it. It was a little foggy that morning, and if you'll watch, after Colin drops the gate, they get to running in circles so much that the, the view of the camera actually clears up. It pushes all that fog away from there, but we saw it. I mean, it was in there. We dropped it. Bam. There they are. morning y'all we done dropped it again getting to be a habit on a Monday put this thing out uh, 
almost a week ago, Tuesday, I think it was. And this morning, Colin dropped a hammer on them. Let me tell y'all about it. Well, we put the camera out on Sunday. Had a guy saying he had some hogs tearing up a pine thicket. So we come over here and set the camera up. And then realized uh, Monday afternoon that they was on a schedule coming in at daylight and coming in right at dark. So I took off Tuesday morning when uh, we come put the trap out. And, uh, and then we just stayed, watched them. Just watched them, waited on them. Kind of patterned them a little bit. And this morning, all six of them went in there, six big sows. We had the babies, 14 babies. And we got one that's uh, she's about to pop. So it would have been a lot more than that. They, they, I mean, we'll show y'all walking in here the damage they've done to this pine plantation right here. It's crazy. And we didn't realize how many it was actually till, I mean, just like more adults started showing up. We uh finna go take care of these things. I mean, you can see up through there. They have tore this place up. Right in here is where they was hanging out every afternoon. Yep. That'd been open pasture, that'd been rough. Well, we got some going too, yeah, one of Oh, smells piggy up here.
sucker needs good clean. Yeah, I'm gonna tear it off. There's 20 right on the money at it. You gonna either put them in the soft spot behind the ear, or right between that. And it shoots a little bit low this close. Slide them up here so these don't fall out. Messed up. We thought of back again. Yep. Donate. We get notes. Well, just got in. Didn't know if y'all understood all what I was saying about the pines, but uh, those pigs, they love those things, and they were destroying that one. Uh, made a drop on about 20 right there, and that'll knock those out for a while, but uh, they cause erosion. Like I was talking about, about the trees, it's just... You know, they don't need to be there. And those people plan on making money off those trees one day, and everyone that they tear up, that's one they're not going to get paid for. So, anyway. Um, not mentioning running off all the deer and the turkeys and all that good stuff. So, they're gone. Uh, we're getting a couple of them processed for ourselves. Um first time I've ever done that with uh, Dubok. We're going to see how they do and uh, see what they turn out like. I bet they're going to be pretty good. Oh, uh, one other thing. I want y'all to leave uh, down in the comments um, where you're from. I can see where some of y'all from. Give them a little communication to us. Let us know what's going on. Anyway, till next time. Found Farms. See y'all.